Baba, tell me a story. Yes, ma son. The true secret societies are the ones you do not know exist. From the Freemasons to the Illuminati, all of these secret societies are not secret at all, they are very well known. However, the most obscure, the most cryptic, the most hidden secret societies are the African secret societies, also known as Black Secret Societies or Black Illuminati. The Black Panther movie secretes some of the secret hidden cryptic occult symbols of the Black Illuminati. Allow your eye to adjust to triple darkness and let us enter into the black light. In the Black Panther movie, the nation of Wakanda is a secret, hidden in plain sight. This is the definition of the word occult. First, you must know that light is symbolic of knowledge. Scientifically, there is visible light and invisible light. Invisible light is separated into infrared light and lower and ultraviolet or black light and higher. When you are dealing with the electromagnetic spectrum, ultraviolet or black light is a higher frequency than visible white light. So, black light is higher than white light. Freemasons follow the light, the white light. One of the goals of Freemasons is to make a good man, a better man, and this is why in the Black Panther movie, T'Challa's father tells him that, you are a good man, and it is hard for a good man to be a king. The black light is a higher degree. Part of black light manifests in the visible spectrum as the color violet, or purple, and this is why the higher degree of cryptic masonry, of the York Rite system, is symbolized by the color purple. The degree of cryptic masonry is higher than the royal arch degree. The fact that black light is purple is why the light that is emitted by the Black Panther's suit is also purple and why the premiere of the Black Panther movie was on a purple carpet because it is dealing with the higher degrees, the black light, the black illuminati. In Marvel Comics, Black Panther was invited to be the seventh member of the illuminati. However, Black Panther did not join the group because it was beneath him. Cryptic masonry deals with the legend of Hiram Abif, the architect of King Solomon's temple. In the Bible, in 1 Kings, chapter 7, verses 13 and 14, it says that Hiram was a widow's son, of the tribe of Naphtali, and his father was a metal worker. The Black Panther's father died in the movie, Captain America Civil War, which would make T'Challa, the Black Panther, the son of a widow, or a widow's son. This is also why T'Challa is depicted in the Black Panther movie, having a haircut with a widow's peak. T'Challa also has a beard in the movie to symbolize the lion's mane, the panther Leo, the cathead Moors, who were the keepers of the secrets in antiquity. This is why T'Challa is depicted in a Moorish Muslim prayer position, on one of the Black Panther movie posters. In the legend of Hiram Abif, he fights three ruffians, who kill him and he is raised from the dead with the lion's paw grip. In the Black Panther movie, T'Challa fights three main foes, Mbaku of the Jabari tribe, Ulysses Law, and Eric Killmonger. Then, T'Challa symbolically dies, and is later resurrected in the movie. Also, the Panther tribe of Wakanda are historically blacksmith masons, or workers of metal, just like the tribe of Hiram Abif. The blacksmith masons of Wakanda's panther tribe work with a metal called vibranium, which absorbs sound, if it is hit by a hammer. In the Bible, in 1 Kings, chapter 6, verse 7, it says that King Solomon's temple was built without the sound of a hammer. The word Naphtali, the tribe of Hiram Abif, is related to the word Naphtuim, which refers to the Nubian city of Napata, in the Sudan of Africa. In the International Standard Bible Encyclopedia, it says that, Napata, means, the people of, Pata, the dwellers of Memphis in ancient Egypt. Pata, was an ancient Egyptian deity, who was a pygmy dwarf, and a blacksmith mason, the grand architect of the universe. Pata, was also symbolic of the primordial mound, and Wakanda had a mountain, or mound, of vibranium. Pata, as a dwarf blacksmith is also represented in the Black Panther movie, with the fact that Andy Serkis and Martin Freeman are both in the movie, and the last movie that these two actors were in together was The Hobbit, which featured dwarf blacksmiths who mined metal and lived inside a mountain. 
Also, there was a scene in a Black Panther movie, filmed in Busan, South Korea, and a word, Busan, means, cauldron mountain, like the melting pot of a blacksmith mason. In ancient Egypt, the high priests of Pata, wore leopard skin clothing, and Black Panthers are melanistic leopards. The Nubian kings, of the cities of Napata, and Mero, also wore leopard skin clothing, and these African cities were huge centers for iron smelting blacksmith masonry. The god of the panther tribe in the Black Panther movie is named Bast. In ancient Egypt, Bast was one of the wives of the dwarf mason deity named, Bata. The son of, Bata, in Nubia was named, Apidem Mak, who was depicted with the body of a snake, and the head of a lion. This is why the body of the suit of the Black Panther in the movie, looks like snake skin, but the helmet looks like a cat head. This is also symbolic of Mithral, who is depicted with the head of a lion, and the body of a man, wrapped by a snake. The symbols related to Mithra are, a hammer, dogs, a snake, and a chicken, which are the same symbols related to another African blacksmith mason deity named, Ogun, from the Ifa tradition of Nigeria. The Nubians built pyramids, at high angles of 68 degrees, which is the same angle of the Illuminati pyramid on the back of the US dollar bill. These African blacksmith masons, who wore leopard skin, were traveling men who navigated the four corners of the globe. Thus, you find various leopard secret societies across West Africa, including the Ekpe, Abaku, and Yotu Nyita, and the Leopard Society of Basaland. The men of the West African Leopard Secret Societies were depicted in the 2016 movie entitled The Legend of Tarzan by the actor DJ Mohan Su, and this same actor did the voice of Black Panther in the BET animated series. Also DC Comics created a black superhero based on the West African Leopard Secret Society called the Bronze Tiger, who was portrayed by the actor Michael J. White on the Arrow TV show. The African Leopard Societies even traveled to the Americas, where they used the symbol of the Jaguar, and they erected two other pyramids found in Mesoamerica, the Tikal Temple 1 of the Great Jaguar, and the Tikal Temple 3 of the Jaguar Priest, both of which are built at high angles of 68 degrees, like the Nubian pyramids. It is important to note that Jaguars, Leopards, and Panthers are all related. The jaguar was a sacred animal to the Mesoamerican Olmecs, Mayans, and Aztecs, and these cultures all had jaguar kings, jaguar priests, and jaguar warriors. The Tikal Temple Three Pyramid was built for a king named, Dark Sun, which represents the Black Sun, or Black Light, or Black Illuminati. The Tikal Temple One Pyramid of the Great Jaguar has nine tiers, and it is said that cats have nine lives, and from the front, Black Panther's necklace has nine teeth, and the Black Panther movie was released on February 16th, and 2 plus 1 plus 6 equals 9. This is because, 9, is the next highest number after the sequence, 357. But all of this black knowledge, or black line, is just dealing with symbolism associated with the African secret societies, the Black Illuminati. But, you may be asking yourself, what is the big secret possessed by these societies? It is simply this, that science and technology are the keys to heaven, the keys to mastering, controlling, and transforming natural resources to create a utopia on Earth, symbolized by Wakanda.